YouTube disclaimer. This is a basic instructional video. Please avert your keyboards of wrath to other videos. Enjoy! <laughs> So welcome to the brand new Predators and you gotta admit, it looks pretty damn sick. But the entire thing, the entire feeling of the gym now, every space is used properly, everything's new and down and comfortable. When you come in here now, it just feels like a working environment. Very, very impressive. And also, it's great to be back with my man, Joe Underhook. <laughs> AKA Yusuf, that's his actual real name, AKA Joe, G.I. Joe back in the house and last time if you didn't see the last video we did together we did some punch work combinations for you if you haven't seen those check the link in the description for the previous video where we did some straights into hook with a roll bam bam so now what we're going to do is we're going to bring in a little bit of kick work because some of you want to know how to throw kicks and how to integrate them into a pad routine or a bag working routine and watching other people in the gym this is one of the main things where people can easily hit the hook Definitely. people kick with their feet. There's a couple of little things that we can tweak to make you throw a good basic kick and also a couple of evolved methods. Evolu yeah, yeah. From yeah. The fight game has changed since obviously. Obviously, it changed everything since, in life. Since MMA came in, everything's been adapted, everything's been created. So some of the old school methods that I was taught are now being um, adapted to show new range, new methods and new techniques. And so we're going to take you through those today. We're going to go through the old school, the new school, and then one little sneaky one, which uh, Yusuf only just told me about myself. So we're going to hit the brand new spanking me. Oh! Cage. Are we we're gonna going get in there. We're gonna oh, get in there, and we're gonna hit up some pad work. See you in there. <laughs> so, guys, we're gonna talk about how to actually throw the kick first before showing how to, you know, set it up with combinations. I'm facing you and the camera, the people. Okay. What I want to make sure I'm doing is I want to make sure the first thing I do is I step with this leg and I show you my heel. Okay. That enables my hips to turn into the kick. So, I'm gonna do it now. So I'm I'm here. I'm stepping in. Then. I'm pivoting for the second time and I'm hitting with my shin. Okay, so if I did it on legs, it would look like this. So I've got my stance, I need to step, I step across, boom, and I hit with my shin. The part that I'm hitting with is very, very important. I'm not doing a shit kick where I'm doing, doing everything right and then I'm hitting them with my foot. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure I turn and I hit him with my shin. I'm gonna hit him with this part. Okay, not with my foot, with my shin. At first, guys, if you've not kicked before, when you kick a bag, your shins are gonna be very delicate. That is completely normal. So don't think there's anything wrong with you because it hurts, okay? That's normal. What you do with the bottom part is just as important as what you do with your upper body. Okay, there's two ways you can do this. There's obviously, as you step, you can keep your hands up where it is. So you step and you kick. A guy called Joe Boltolini, Bazooka Joe, if you used to fight a glory, does this really well, that's his thing. Or what you can do is, from here as you set up the kick, you use your hand. So just in case he, um, he, he counters you with anything, you've got your hand in front of you and, you know, in his eyes. Distraction tactics, I'm, I'm in his eye, I'm in his face, okay? Another thing I want to be doing is, I want to really put my hip into it. So let's just say I'm throwing a kick right now. So if I threw the kick, as I step, this is what I want this motion. I really want to put all my body weight into the kick. That's how I get power. It comes from the, from the ground up to the hips, to the rotation of the hips, and then obviously um, hit Lex's leg. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> Smash Lex's leg. <laughs> yeah. right. Just as I execute the kick, I want to make sure it comes back in like a snake motion. So as soon as I kick, I bring it back just the way it is and I'm in my neutral stance, okay? Another thing I wanna talk about is a different variation, uh, variation of a kick. Every leg kick that you throw isn't to hurt your opponent. Sometimes people throw leg kicks to see what reactions you get out of fighters. So guys, when I kick, obviously I'm looking at you and I'm looking at my opponent. As I step and I kick, 
my body's on my side now. So I can't follow up with punches because I'm on my side. To, to follow up with punches, I would need to go from here and then start firing. But what Joe Baltolini does is from here, he steps, but he doesn't pivot all the way. So he steps and he just kicks like this. And that enables him to fire off punches straight away because my hips are already in line. So he kicks, bang, 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 he finishes. This is the fighting game. It's like a game of chess. You know, when I throw the jab, when I throw the kick, when I throw anything, I'm looking for reactions. That's what makes a good fighter compared to a, you know, a, a shit fighter. You know, a calculated, a, a tactical, a very smart guy throws stuff and he sees what the opponent does. That's next level. Right, so Joe's taking you through kind of the physics and the basics of the kick. Now we're going to show you in kind of a more of a real-time motion of where you want to be landing it. And what we're talking about is old school, new school and evolution. Old school lean back kick would have been, if we rotate round, what you're going to see is you're going to see the hips come over the top and the idea would be to chop down, bang, on there. And obviously, like you throw when you're throwing punches, we taught you last time, you roll the hips with the punch, it's the same with the kick. So from here, you're going to step, pivot, a throw. This is the old school with the lean. There, then we're back. Same again. Now the new school one, which Joe showed me since the time that I've been here, and is much, much better for being able to build up combinations. Because with the lean, I've found, once you've done that, you tend to reset, you're not thinking ahead. But with this one, when we step in, we're here, bam, straight back in. You can see it's really nice and quick and tight. You do risk taking a shot, being a little bit closer, but the idea is we're gonna set this up with punches. So we've already confused them, ba 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 ba, and then we're in, bam, and we're back. And I find it really nice. So you still got the nice rotation with the core and the hip, but we're back in the pocket. Kick. Good. Kick. Good. Be the aggressor, so come forward and kick. Nice. Kick. So just pivot a little bit more on that foot, yeah? Yeah. Smile better, there you go. Again. Good. That's it. Again. Again. Good. One more time, last one. Huh? Hand in the face. Hand in the face, yeah, yeah. Hand in the face. Good. Again. Good. Okay guys, now we're gonna set the kicks up with combinations, okay? That's the next level. I've shown you how to throw on the kick. Oh sorry, Lex has shown you how to throw the kick and how to execute. <laughs> Joe, Joe knows how to go. It's Yusuf, man. <laughs> what, it, I, what, I'm fine. <laughs> so we've learned how to throw the kick. Now, to get to the next level is setting the kick up, okay? Obviously when you're fighting someone decent, when you just throw a kick, they're gonna see it coming from miles away. So that's why you need to set it up high and then finish low. This is what the ties do and they're the best at it. So why not we don't fucking goddamn copy them? <laughs> so what we're gonna do is simple. All I'm gonna do now is just a simple jab. And what I'm aiming to do in a real fight situation when I'm jabbing someone is their head is going up for that split second. And this is what this is gonna represent. When Lex hits the jab, that's what my head is doing. It's going back in a real fight situation. And then what, as soon as he's done that, he's gonna do what he does before, like he was throwing a kick before. He's gonna jab, step, and then finish with the kick. Okay, well, let's go around, for, we'll, do, we'll do that for 15 seconds, we'll, do, we'll, do, we'll go around, okay? So jab legs, bash, bash. Bash, bash. Good. Again. I'm gonna do that bazooka Joe one. Yeah, bash, bash. Yeah. Can we talk about that and then you yeah. do it? Yeah, okay. Bash. So you can see the difference in that kick there, how I'm staying much straighter on. And it's more of a tester kick. How you see people pull with a jab, that's almost like a pull with a kick. So you can see how they're gonna react. And then they can set up, you know, they could come in here and then boom, come high and hit with the head kick. What we're aiming to do is really land this stiff, make them think about that, maybe even double, you know, use that a couple of times and then bam, and not thinking about it. Yeah, it's not something that you have to jab and kick straight away. Like I said, test the waters. Okay guys, so now we're gonna demonstrate in, in real time. So when I say jab, he's gonna throw the jab and we're gonna move around like it's realistic, like it's, like it's actually in a real fight, okay? So, jab, jab, kick, nice. Aggressive with the aggressive, jab, kick, good. Jab, kick, good. Again. Good. See that slight pause that you've got between the kick? Yeah. Make it a bit faster. So jump up. Yeah. Bit pop it. Pop, pop, pop it. <laughs> Miles better. One last time. 
good. Okay, so the next setup is one of my favourite. Is the last punch before I kick is gonna gonna be the left hook. Now I like the left hook for a number of reasons. One, when I throw a left hook, now watch watch it on Lex. Just put on, put your glove to the side, Lex. Right. Okay. When I left hook Lex, all the power that goes from from me to Lex and it shifts his body weight. So if I push him that way now, he's really heavy on that leg. Now when someone is really heavy on the leg. They can't check. What I mean by check is, so if I throw the kick, that's how he blocks. One of the ways to really get a free leg kick in my eyes is to set it up with a hook. So, same again, we're gonna go jab, right hand, and from the right hand, I'm gonna do the left hook. As I do the left hook, I'm proper putting this left hook in. And from that, it gives me a perfect position to throw the left kick, uh, the leg kick, because I'm in that position already to fire back out. So as soon as I throw that hook, I'm here, I'm stepping, and I'm boom, and I'm hitting, okay? So, in real time, Lex is going to demonstrate it on the pads. Bash, 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 bash. Nice, that's it. Again. Bash, 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 bash. Good. Again. Bash, 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 bash. Put, that, like, put that hook in more, yeah? Okay. Should I go? Keep going. Yeah, I promise. <laughs> bash, bash, bash. Nice. Still leaning back a bit. You're, You're still trying. leaning back a little bit, just a little bit, yeah. yeah. Again. You feel more balanced as well? Yeah, way better. Good. So you, instead of pivoting with your heel, just pivot with your, with your, you pivot with your heel then. Okay. Yeah? yeah. I know how the floor doesn't help you, but it's quite awkward, isn't it? It's quite sticky. So step it. So step it more, yeah. There you go, again. Good, nice. And another thing I forgot to mention as well, Lex was doing it, is when he throws the kick, so pause at the end of the kick, Lex. So bang, see what he's doing with his hands? Do, do that ro rotation again. Boom, see how he's using his hands? Again. Bam, good. He's really using that hand, uh, that arm, to really swing back. And that really helps the momentum of the kick and the power. You know, so from the hips, like a pendulum effect, yeah. So here, as you step, you proper put that arm right back, like trying to dislocate it from its socket. Okay guys, I'm gonna fucking call it now. We're gonna do it on real time. All them three things that we learned today, including the jaw ball to lean a kick. Do it right now, let's go. Kick. Nice. Ball to lean a kick. Again. Good. Jab kick. A bit more aggressive on the jab. Better, that's it. Again. Nice. Sit down on the hook. <laughs> nice, again. Good. Some people don't know shit about boxing. <laughs> hook on its own. Let's go. Hook. Nice. That was a nice one. That felt that. Again. Good. One more time. Nice. Right on the thigh, that net. Again, one more time. Good. Jab kick. Again. Nice. Last one. Technique one, two, three, and then kick. Nice. Down the Boom. Remember when you said you like the smell of your gloves? You're weird on. It's still nice, I like, I like it. Okay, so there you go. A really nice brief introduction to just learning to throw some good kicks with decent power and decent technique. Obviously, I'm nowhere near perfect to doing this. I've had quite a bit of time out, but they felt really good in contrast to how I used to throw kicks. Definitely the little bazooka kick, that little, that little, you know, like, I don't know. Find a kick, I suppose you call it, something like that. Very nice, explore a kick. They're really quite nice. Give those a go on the bag. You're already landing on the side of the shin rather than the top end, and then really turn it over and land here. You can see where I was landing on the pad with my lovely ashy skin. <laughs> I need some moisturizer on that bad boy. Because yeah, I'm the real man. <laughs> but that's the one, the main two things we need to take from that is hip pivoting on that front foot, getting the front foot turned to allow the hips to come through, landing just above the foot on the shin, really land that in like a bat, and rotating the hips through, and trying as well to just pendulum that arm around and bring the hand up at the same time. Don't worry if you forget about that. Don't panic, don't freak out if you throw a couple of bad kicks or whatever. It's all a big learning curve. We'll get better together over time. Better together, I like that better one. Better together. together. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you want to see anything else, put it 
in the comments below. Ooh. Let Joe or myself know what you want to see. Yusuf! Useless! I mean, yeah. Let Yusuf or myself know what you want to see and we will endeavour to make more videos. We will be back in the MMA gym now. A lot of you have been asking where it's gone. The simple fact was it was being redone. It was out of commission for over a week or so. I had photo shoots with Gymshark you guys will have seen by now already. So obviously I can't go and get beat up because, you know, it doesn't look too good on camera. Even though if a black eye would match a nice outfit. So, thank you once again, my man. Joe, the man with the no. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Underhook!